Even though WordPress SEO is a complex topic, some people find it very difficult to understand. So whenever you are going to install WordPress on your website, it is very important to install SEO plugin. So in this lecture, we are going to understand how to install Yoast SEO plugin and configure it. Yoast SEO is one of the most used plugins whenever you want to do SEO or technical check of your website. Yoast SEO is a powerful tool which will help you a lot to optimize your site. It can also give you a recommendation. So let's get started and see how you can install this plugin. If you want to install Yoast SEO plugin on your website, first thing you need to do is log into your dashboard, click on plugin and add new. Here, you need to search Yoast SEO. Once you do that, click on the install now button. Now I'm going to activate this plugin. Once you have activated the plugin, you will see SEO option here. So I'm going to click on the general settings. Here you will see all the problems related to SEO. If you don't have any issues with your website, you will see problems at zero. So good job. Now the next is configuration wizard. If you're setting up the website for the first time, I'll suggest you to click on that option. As soon as you start the configuration wizard, the first option you are going to see is, is your website under construction? If yes, then you can select the option B. If it is not, then I'll suggest you to select the option A. So I'm going to select the option A and I want Google to index my website. Once this is done, I'm going to click on the next button. Now the next question is, what is your site type? So if you're creating a blog, then you can select a blog option or if you have an online shop, then you can select the other option. There are multiple options here. So you can select any one of them. So for me, it's a blog. I will suggest a blog and click on the next button. Now the next option is to select if it is an organization based website or it's a personal portfolio website. So if it is an organization website, then you can choose your organization name. If you have a logo, you can upload it here, your Facebook page URL, Twitter URL, Instagram URL, and there are a lot of settings here. So for me, it's a personal website. So I'm going to select person and here I'm going to give a name. So once this is done, I'm going to click on the next button. Now here is the most important settings in Yoast SEO. Do you want your post to be indexed by Google search? If yes, you can select the option yes. Now the next option is, do you want your pages to be indexed by Google search? So I want them to index on Google search, so I'm going to select the yes option. Once this is done, I'm going to click on the next button. Now the next option is, does your website have multiple authors? That means on your website, do you have multiple authors writing content for you? If you have, then you can select the option yes. If you don't, then you can select the no option and move ahead. Now the next option is to select your website name. So here I'm going to give my website name. So now the next option is title separator. You are going to use this option whenever you are going to write a meta title and this is going to be your separator. Now what I will suggest you is to select the pipe option. Why? Just because it consumes less pixels and it will help you to add more characters in your meta title. So once this is done, I'm going to click on the next button. Now here, do you want Yoast SEO to track your data? I will never suggest you to do that because it may slow down your website in future. So I'll select the no option here. Once I do that, I'll click on the next button. Now the next option is if you want to enroll for their SEO beginner course or if you want to sign up for their newsletter, you can enter your email address and click on the sign up button. Right now I'm not interested in this so I'm just going to click on the next button. Once it is done, it is a success message and you have properly configured your website. I will click on the close button. If in future you want to start this settings again, then you can go to the general settings and click on reopen configuration wizard and you can do the settings. Now, once you have configured this plugin, I'll show you what you can do with it. So we are going to optimize this blog post. So I've already written some content on my website and I have not done any optimization yet. So as you can see, I've written the title and I have the blog written over here. And here you can see there are two things. One is SEO and the second is readability. Now readability is the score which is given to you by Moz. At the end of the day, if this says that you need improvement, I'll suggest you not to worry about it because at the end of the day, it is just a robot. The second score which you see over here is SEO. In SEO, if you're going to do the SEO of this blog post, it will automatically turn green. 
So this is what we need to focus on. So what we're going to do is, we have this article written over here. We're going to add some images over here. So once we have added all the images, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and here you can see this. So it will look something like this to you. You can see your focus key phrase. Now what is your focus keyword? So here I'm going to write the focus keyword. That is my main keyword, what people are going to search and visit my website. So for me, it is Instagram Pro. So right now, if you will see over here, it will show you red, which means like it is okay. I need some more improvement. So to do some more improvement, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my title. I'm going to remove this and write Instagram Pro. Now, when I'm adding meta title, the character limit for a meta title is 60 characters. As you can see, it is not 60. And that is the reason you see an orange bar over here. So now to make it green, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more things. So right now you can see it is turning green. I can also add some modifiers like 2020 or 2021. So that more and more people are clicking on my result. The second thing what I need to add is meta description. So here I'm going to write my meta description as well. Now, as you can see that I have already added my meta description and it is turned green. Now, the next step is to make sure that the URL is shorter. So what we are going to do is we are going to add this as our URL, which is slug. So these are some basic things which you need to do in terms of SEO. So I'm going to add my slug, which will be Instagram hyphen pro. When you are writing your meta description and meta title, you always need to make sure that your focus keyword which you have written over here is present in your meta title and your description too and that is how you do seo so i'm just going to close the snippet editor and i'm going to click on seo analysis now if i see some analysis over here there are going to be some suggestion which i need to follow so the first suggestion is use outbound link that means i need to give a backlink to someone so to do that what i'm going to do is I'm going to give a backlink to some other website. So here, if I'm writing Instagram, then I can just give a link, which is Instagram.com. That means I gave a backlink to Instagram. So that is my outbound link. Now, if you will see over here, that is automatically clear. Now, the next suggestion is use internal links. Now, what are internal links? If you have a website, you need to make sure that your users are going to different, different pages of your site. For example, Wikipedia. If you have seen Wikipedia, there are multiple internal pages on Wikipedia. So you need to make sure that your website is also like Wikipedia. So to do that, you need to add internal links. So what I'm going to do is, this is my website. I'm just going to add one random link over here. So for example, here I'm going to write. So I'm going to select this and add zef.xyz. Once this is done, then again, one more warning is gone. Now, the second warning which they are giving me is key phrase in the introduction. Now here, I need to add this key phrase, which is Instagram Pro in my first paragraph. So instead of writing, click, upload, share. Okay, so I have added my Instagram Pro keyword in the first line of my blog. Now, the next warning you will see is key phrase in subheading. That means I need to add Instagram Pro, the keyword in H2 or H3 of my blog. So for example, I can just add here and I can make it H2, for example. Now, once this is done, then that warning is also gone. Now, the next warning what they're giving is that I need to add alt attribute to all my images. Now to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this key phrase and I need to add it in the alt text. So to do that, I'm going to select this image, click on edit button, and I need to add this alt text. So I need to do it for all the images. So I'll just do it right now. Whenever you are adding an alt text in your images, you need to explain the image properly. So for example, if you are adding an image of a phone, then you need to explain it in a better way that this phone is one plus 60 or one plus seven or one plus eight. So that Google crawls this information properly and they can show these images in Google images. So I have followed all these steps and here I can see that it is already done. It is saying that even after completing the thing, they're saying that you have used the alt text for six images of yours. But what you need to do is you need to use synonyms of these keywords too. Now the keyword is Instagram Pro. 
and I don't want to use a different synonym because what will be the synonym of Instagram? So that is the reason I'm going to keep that and it is okay to use something like that. So once this is done, you, you will see that your SEO is good and now you can publish the blog post. So this is how you are going to do SEO for your website and Yoast SEO is going to give you all the suggestions related to it. So follow these instructions and it will be useful for you. And if you want to go to readability and if you want to improve this score, then you can go over here and improve this scores too. This is how you're going to do SEO for your website. As you can see, Yoast SEO can help you a lot in optimizing your website. Once you have set it up everything properly, there is no one stopping you from ranking top on Google search. If you want to get the premium features, you can also buy the premium version of the plugin, which is $99. There is one more plugin which you can install on your website and that is Rank Math. Rank Math is a plugin which helps you a lot in optimizing the website and it has more features than Yoast SEO. That's it for this time and I'll see you in the next lecture.